There yeah, there's the Terror Blade you were about. And it makes a lot of sense, especially uh, after the Luna pick. Terror Blade's one of the heroes. Go oh, at 7 3 against the SF 7 6, so maybe coming out with a couple more denies. And over from X Nova, you're talking about the Rubik. Well, spot Fata here. Wild Axes still ready to go and snare. The metamorphosis, Fata trying to escape, but the lift back into this arm ATB. One more hit is all he needs. Fata cutting through with the salve and the tango, gets himself out of danger potentially here with the wild axe swinging back. X Nova dropping low and first blood goes to Yapsor. Now he's ensnared and surely will fall, but that is well played by Team Secret. Fata with some godly moves. Yeah, nice turnaround. Uh, the flask usage uh, hiding in a level two razors over the level two necromastery. He's CSing very well. 11-4 against 13-8. Bottom lane again. Fata caught. Lift back after the ensnare. And this time, Arme does not get caught by that Echo Stomp. But Fata, tanky, not tanky enough. Wiped down by the Terror Blade. An opening onto Fata here with a Metamorphosis ready, like you were mentioning this time. But the Radiant scanning. So will maneuver himself from east to west towards that middle lane. Chalice running away from top. Puppy with a glimpse back and the Lucent Beam will drag him. Final killing blow there while bottom lane Fata dies. There's the meta used and pressure into the tier 1 as they've got a decent creep wave coming in. Closing in on that, but they have been running this kind of dual lane with the Yaps.et around. Lurking in behind mid, realizing that kind of maneuver is likely to come from LGD. Mid one is open and a potential kill to grab. The Spirit on cooldown for a second and he's just blown up so quickly. Yapsaw had no chance to react there. He gets to sleep onto the Naga, but it happens so quickly. LGD duo coming in. FY and maybe. Death. Feel like something's up. They won't try and make a play onto Ace. I know he's low mana here and only has, you know, an int switch into a Lucent Beam, but there's the Glimpse sending back the Naga Siren. Trouble is, the Shadow Fiend is well in the thick of things here with a repel on him. And Luna very quickly cleared up. Yeah, and they're gonna get the... Will be tower pressure here from Secret as they shove into Tier 1's bottom lane, and it looks like LGD have given up on top. That should be a kill on, on Omni on bottom. The roar comes in, the right clicks from Luna. Purification and Guardian Angel though from Chalice by a little bit of time. After dropping low here, an ace with this Eclipse will be forced to use it. In comes X Nova, burst down immediately. Static Storm is there, flying through from Poppy. Chalice found, turns around with that Purification, but Gyro arrives with that Haste Rune swinging in for this Tier 1 tower. And not too much action happening, only 9 kills uh, 13 minutes in. Beastmaster with the Helm of the Dominator finished, has an extra unit. Flying mid one, having a bit of a scrap. That cooldown does just clip, doesn't land the second rocket, but the rocket barrage will do the job. Meanwhile, Static Storm onto Chalice, LGD being picked apart from right to left. Finds FY and Chalice. There, is that a, a roar expended as well with the Static Storm? It looks like it. But Omni unable to get any of his spells out, and LGD being pressured super hard. But look at who's coming in from behind. Terror Blade is ready to fight. The glimpse onto Rubik. Will catch X Nova sprinting forward. Mid one wants to get the damage in, and they will clear up yet another. Terror Blade still looking to fight though. He knows a number of these spells are down, but he can't. He can't stick on a target. He can't catch. There is no one here song to stop missed. them. The song is not going to be in range. Finally, they find the Elder Titan, but that is the only kill they'll get. And they use what uh, two ultis plus meta. He has a fairy fire. If you don't use fairy fire in the next. In, in the first five minutes, you're not going to use that item at all. <laughs> True enough. Running out of slots there a little bit. But the problem for LGD is that they, they don't have any catch. The best way to start a fight is Rubik with a lift, and that's pretty much it. Or SF Naga, Blink. Siren, and Snare. SF has Blink Yules. That's, that seems like the only way they're going to be able to jump onto the Luna here. Maybe those switches back towards the Disruptor. Static Storm will cancel out any further follow-through. Now the song maybe has Repel. Moves forward. Requiem onto who, though? They've got to wind it up, but Fat is here, potentially with a roar to turn back in. The cooldown will land as well. Down goes X Nova and maybe follows. Chalice trapped inside everything else in Team Secret. Oh, man. Ah, that really is a disaster for LGD. You know, they're setting up, they're getting their big old left hook to get right around the cheekbone of Secret, and then all of a sudden it's a duck under and a slam into the groin as LGD fortunately left with 
bitter taste in their mouth, and even more potentially going to come their way. They've trapped in Elder uh, the uh, Terror Blade here with the Elder Titan. Yapsor may be about to die. Will indeed the Sunder thrown back, but Ace loosened beams and damage from mid one will secure another kill. Arme, what was he doing there? They don't have meta. They don't have uh, Naga Siren. Uh, they can easily take tier two tower. It's a chain feed. LGD just giving one by one, and now another glimpse. Chalice does have the repel. That really is what Secret have done pretty much this entire game, is make LGD uncomfortable. Even when they have meta, when they have Requiem, they have Song, yeah. they don't feel like they can move forward and use them. Somnus now, though, Yules into Requiem, wound up onto mid one, does get a lot of damage in, but needs the raise. And the Fade Bolt from Exnova to secure that streak take back. Mega kill. Money goes to the Rubik. And if he decides to go for a combo, that's why Shadowfind is building into Lincoln Sphere. Maybe they've got vision of him, glimpse back. Yule's up from himself, but the Static Storm is still going to be there with the roar. Down maybe goes. Pinged out a lot there. Maybe he's like, guys, they've got vision. They have somewhere. vision. So they have a level 3 Inner Beast, they have a level 4 Lunar Blessing. Uh, I guess Team Secret is just gonna play around the Roche. Maybe try to bait the Song of the Siren before they go. Mid one, straight in on top of FY. TB is here with a ton of damage though, and mid one has overplayed. He was oh. alone. <laughs> Not, again. Not he, again. He got blown up by Shadowfin uh, on top with the combo. Who are they sending forward? Naga Illusion, but Roshan down to 2,000 HP. LGD, really, to get inside the pit. Move forward to clear out a wave mid. But at this point, really, you need a, a, a Blink Dagger on this Naga or something, it feels like, to be able to set up. Random Stomp, no Static Storm, no anything, no Hawk Vision. Sure, and you can also push out this bottom wave as well. Top lane, Ace is up here on the Tier 3, an unexpected move there. Creep Wave. Arriving in mid, Ace oh. makes the maneuver, maybe down the bottom lane, caught with a static storm. The Lincolns was popped and down he goes. Buyback is available, but now SF, half his souls, down the drain. It's out mid wave. Dealing with bottom, of course, he does have the boots of travel, able to join in with the rest of his team. Drop of a hat. The Hawk scouting out the Terror Blade. Vision over LGD for a short time, jumping in though. Shadow Fiend realizes that with that Static Storm down, he cannot go for the Requiem play. We'll back up, but the song, song is here. FY catches four. Can they get on, on top of a big target, though? Where's the Shadow Fiend? Where's the Requiem? He's not available. Mid one will get trapped in here, but throws the cooldown in. Maybe still holding on to that ulti. But mid one, he's got the cheese in two seconds. There is no way you're killing this Gyrocopter with that Butterfly ready and raring to go. Now, though, with the BKB done, Requiem too early. Lacoste, too early! Now Gyro <laughs> pops the cheese and maybe we'll have to run away. The Gyro survives through it all. And the one thing we didn't want to happen has happened. In onto the racks, the buildings are falling and LGD absolutely shredded here by Team Secret's game plan. Masterful display as the missile finishes off FY. The TB will sunder back onto Ace, but a quick Hurricane Pike back will allow the Luna to escape. But let racks top and now maybe an SF bot a secret, really, pulling out all the stops in this game. Uh, they have no lockdown whatsoever, and Team Secret at this point can just do whatever they want. It really does feel that way. Oh, Luna, ulti. BKB as well, kills off X Nova. Oh, Somnus. Go Scepter up for him. A spooky proposition against that Eclipse, but it ends at the right time, and good game has been called. Secret, 19 to 9. 2,000 net worth lead at the end, but it was an absolute clinic from them. Precision gaming from start Precision to Precision gaming, you say? Well, at the at the end, uh, they were spreading them in their base, the same way your uh, tattoo of a rose. How secret play and how they move across the map, it isn't just all about these Wombo Combos has And there it is! With the Wraith King! <laughs> oh! But who's gonna play? Oh, just pick your heroes. Come on, Secret. Every time he has a Phantom Rush, he just uses it. In the range of a tower, clicks her a couple of times. If she uses the Shadow Strike, uses Doppelganger. Bottom lane, they even rotate the Bounce Counter. Two-man oh, nice. stun with a Mango play. Chalice in onto Ace. 
And Poppy, Wraith King does turn back with a stun, and Yapso arrives with a great shard's play there. FY and Chalice trying to get in deep, but Ace through some trees, and First Blood goes the way of Yapso. Ace is still alive here with no stun available from the Sand King. He turns back the Snowball safe, comes on through, and Chalice in all sorts of trouble. They'll take him down for a double. Yapsor may be looking for more here as Puppy bashes 17. back X Nova. There's the double nice with a double bash. And X Nova getting slapped around under this Radiant tier. One of three for nothing. Team Secret, Yapsor's TP, snappy, instant. And an absolute wonder to turn around that fight. Yeah. Damage expires. Ace, time to buy some mangoes there. He's got a mango and a clarity from that courier. They'll move in now. Mango ready for Ace to get that stun to pop out. Jakiro is the target of choice. Chalice with a two-man stun, though. Puppy dodged away from it, and the Ice Shards will trap the Jakiro in. Chalice trying to get a bit more damage in onto Ace as the Bash pushes the Jakiro back, out and away, but they have the Snowball to potentially make a play. Yapsor has to get it off now. Can he get this kill, though? What's going on, Jakiro? Mango HP regen is there. The Shards won't come in time. Oh, he didn't want to use it right away because he was kind of greedy. Wanted to stun both him and the Sanking. Very difficult for both of the four rolls on either team to harass or do any real damage. That middle lane, but bottom Charging charge onto X Nova. Chalice is here with a potential burrow strike onto two. Again, very good stuns from the Sand King. But I don't know if he can save X Nova with the shards trapping the Jakiro in. Ace will slice down the double headed dragon. Chalice sticks around a little bit longer here, but the Snowball will come out. Stun up the Sand King. Two-man stun Puppy again. Charge. He has one charge is here on Ace, who turns around and stuns, but the Whoa! Sonic Wave! Maybe with an instant triple. Queen of Pain comes in and, well, mind games, screw you. I'm a Queen of Pain. Uh, Faces Void uh, is level 6, almost level 7, so they should play around the Chrono. Find him. Trying to hunt the Razor. Got Burrow Strike and Epicenter. Don't even know if they need the Chrono here. It looks nope. like Fata is dead regardless. Yep. Nicely done. Comes out in pub games. It'll be the armlet it looks like here for Ace. Yeah, but he, he farms really fast with, uh, with the Skeletons. Yeah. Now, well, I mean, you can't control them and they feed away a lot of gold if they, they're going to come to mid lane right now. Oh, well, FY dies with a Snowball bottom. X Nova. We get trapped in here. Static link from Fata as maybe he looks to blink forward aggressively. Sonic Wave is ready if he switches to Intreds, but the trouble is he's already dead. Jumped in to get a kill on Puppy, you know, that's the... If that we works. call the Mana Boots, can we call uh, Tranquil Boots Hell Boots? You can do anything you want, Lacan. Were they actually called Mana Boots? I think they did. I don't... I don't think so. Oh, crap. You've, you've distracted me. Was that a chrono? That was a chrono. <laughs> they kill mid one. FY only level 4. Uh, I want to see if they they should implement that to see if uh, enemy team has a tome or, or a smoke. How many Smokes, are left? Obs. Nice bait. Ice path not going to land onto Puppy. He's in there with a the dust onto FY, but the skeleton is chasing down Chalice. No Burrow Strike ready. He's being ripped apart. Damage too much. Yeah, this, these skeletons actually deal a lot of damage. Arme well on his way towards the Battle Fury while the PL have anything queued up. Exactly where he's heading, but epicenter bottom lane, Fata very far forward, moves in to try and take down the Jigiro. Him, the Queen of Pain, arrives and makes short work of him. The Razor will take a tumble. Four melee heroes, and the, once they get the uh, bounty hunter to level six, they can easily kite around the speed they get. The problem is Tom was, yes, purchased since hero is level. FY tracking back onto mid one. Doppelganger is here. Forced to use it as he is low HP up on the high ground with the shards to block LGD away from the Phantom Land. So the Sonic Wave goes out, but the PL's already far away. No ball back into Chalice, but the Ice Path on the Yapsaw. At least they'll secure themselves this little Tusk kill. Mid one getting out there. I mean, that was a great effort from himself and the rest of the team that allow him to escape. Puppy goes in. Very aggressive plays. Razor from the high ground. Baits out the Chrono. Lands only onto Fata now with the Macropire down. Razor will get focused as Puppy has died. PL trying to rejoin, but the damage output from LGD too much. Now a track back in. Mid one doppelgangers away. Can he juke with these illusions? No. Chalice with a big stun in. 
We'll make sure that LGD sweep through four of them. And they should have just waited for the last uh, kill to be um, track kill as well. The way they started this fight uh, was really good. The deep two wards. Look at the wardings uh, coming out from uh, LGD. They're playing around the uh, Team Secrets Forest. It'll be another kill. And snowball potentially, but LGD will come in from the back anyway. This is maybe with the double damage rune, the charge through. Ace stuns up Chalice. The Burrow Strike lands though with the Ice Path there, but Ace wasn't caught. Queen of Pain aiming there for a nice little snipe out on Yapsor, but they'll lose their Sand King in exchange. But maybe not so worth it. But Ace dying to Shadow Strike here. One charge, armor toggle. Yeah, okay, he's got it. He's a god. Never mind. What am I talking Dustin about? Dustin cooldown. Now. But the net worth lead from LGD isn't that substantial. It's this spread from secret across three cores plus the Tusk having a ton of money. While on LGD, it's really the top two that have the majority of the net worth. Mid one now, doppelgangering away. Gets out of the epicenter. And on this low ground, he's in a decent position to jump out as well. But the nice... Time dilation will stop the doppelganger from coming out again. The nice Phantom Rush, even better, gets onto the high ground, but one more punch nice to the chrono. snowball save. Oh, it's going to keep him alive. Ice Path in with the chrono there. Doppelganger mid one is still up and running. The macro by clearing through Ace. Now they'll bring him down, but that's the reincarnation. He's able to come through and cycle his spells again. Fath is still going, and X Nova in trouble. Burst Strike from Chalice does catch two, and Ace, they need to focus him. But Jakiro and Bounty both dead. There's no track, there's no control, there's no Sand King stun. He's in the Sandstorm. And Ame is dead. Team Secret with a huge team fight. Kill four and only lose one. It's gonna be Roshan for them. F White. Walk through the Radiant Scan. I think Secret will have a good idea. There's a bounty lurking in this middle. Ah, that was one of the big problems with LGD in the previous game. How is that even possible? Like, they would they would make these moves. Like, Ame right now with, with maybe. All right. FY has two wards in, in his inventory. After getting right click down, though, with a double damage from Queen of Pain. Easy pickings with a Chrono while up at top lane. They'll know that Chrono's down and the Quop is there, so they move in. Jakiro caught, but Epicenter nicely done with a Burst Strike. Snowball Snave better. Yapsaw keeps everyone alive with a Doppelganger out. Mid one tries to sprint away. Pop arrives and takes the Aegis out immediately, but Ace slaying people in the midst of battle. He does not care. His sword is bigger than your mace. Ah, May has to run away. The charge of Puppy and onto Maybe. Do they have the control? It looks no like they've got the damage. They pain. don't care about control. Secret, secret, secret. Well, that was basically a fight seven, actually six versus uh, five. Faceless Void just wants to tank up, not so they can't kill him. I usually would see Manta style, so he can get rid of something to get rid of. That's why he went for it. Why? Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Reincarnation, ready. it's ready. Ace, he will turn his fight around. Army stuck in the trees. He needs to cut through. There's the catch with the Chrono, but it's only on the Wraith King. They have the damage from outside as well. Now they will bring down Ace with the Sonic Wave. Good over the top. But LGD expended so much for just that one kill. Ice Shards do trap Ame in, but he's got a time walk to get himself away. Faster, and then you can shove out the waves. Uh, use Ice Shards and the uh, Snowball, and you... Clear them in one shot. Also gives you uh, ability to be on the same level as your cores later on, and gives you a lot of stats, status resistance as well. Oh, they are really committing for this. But the snowball save again. Yapsor is just so good at this. They will roll forward as the Wraith Fire Blast from Fat, uh, from Ace. Sorry, comes in and they'll clear up Chalice. One charges forward, but again, LGD, they are trying to force things to happen with Puppy dusting forward. FY has been caught by this potentially, and there we go. They see them. Yapsor already on the case. We'll try and bring down the pesky little bounty hunter. One more hit, one more tap. It's Fata. No, it's not. It's Yap. Yapsor gets yeah, it with the urn, I guess. Urn. Puppy's got the internal clock. He walks, he smokes, he moves. Roshan for Ace in mid one. Yeah, Tonian clock, but works as good as Swiss. Absolutely. They got rid of the Soviet waves and they made some clocks of their own and they turned out better. Now Bounty immediately blown up. LGD feels like they need to still go into this pit. They've got the Chrono and a BKB done now for Ame. Mid one and Ace. Quickly dispatching the Roshan. LGD with maybe mid shoving out that creep wave. 
trying to set up for something and give themselves a little more of an angle to move in, but this has given Secret an angle to strike as well. The BKB from Arme jumps away from the static link. He can go for a two-man chrono here, but it's not going to be good enough. They try and force Chalice out, but he's dead. Three gone from LGD already as the Queen of Pain blinks up towards the high ground with Arme holding the ramp as well, but jump in from Ace. Pops the Lincolns out. There's the blink away again from maybe, and FY tries to earn the Queen of Pain up, but in comes a charge. Poppy, he's ready to fight. No, he's not. Turn tail and run. They're forced to buy back from the Sand King, and this will be their time to depart. Great King, which is level 3, Sand King uh, needed to buy back there. Roshan glitched out inside of his pit, doesn't know where to stand. Twiddling his thumbs over in the, the right-hand side of the room. But middle lane, they will jump in. Puppy gets taken out as quickly as he printed forward. Ace now with a Spirit Vessel on him. Right click down here. I don't think he can armor toggle through this. We'll see though. Ace Chrono up, and he definitely can't. They do not catch the PL though. As Fata moves forwards, mid one, still full no. HP, they can't deal with him, mid one's just going to run in here and do a ton of damage, Chalice gone, nice Ice Path, Macropire does get the Tusk, the Absol can't snowball save people, but FY being ripped apart, the PL Illusion's going in, Fata dropped by maybe, and they don't want to deal with the PL, they're killing everyone else instead, LGD says, cool mid one, you do what you want, we will destroy the rest of your team, nice double game over the Ice Path now, Ace still rolling forward as X Nova gets brought to his knees. Yeah, that Chronosphere only caught PL on the edge and uh, caught Raid King with, with an ultimate in the... Secret. That's straight back into Roshan. LGD, fortunately not getting what they needed. And it, it feels like it's uh, always on cooldown, but it's actually not. <laughs> they're, Very good rendition. Yeah, they're gonna go in right. PL has uh, actually gone for God, he just needs Courier to buy it. They blow up Puppy. There is a reincarnation here from Ace, though, as the Burrow Strike lands on two. Chalice with no Sandstorm, but a good Ice Path. Blink forward, maybe catches mid one. Aegis and Cheese still on him, though, like you were mentioning. Turns back and fights. No maybe no mana, can't blink. One charge there, but is unable to get it done. Now Ace just moves on forwards. He's a bulldozer rolling in onto LGD. The tarmac unable to withstand the weight of this Wraith King. Oh, they ping it out. Fanta Radiance knows, just Fanta come knows. with the Radiance. There we go. Oh. Very nicely done. <laughs> That's a Razor with Cheese. Uh, another ulti from Wraith King and still Aegis on Phantom Monster. So you have three cores with uh, three lives. Eight versus five. Eight versus three, actually. Poor Chikiro. Saved up a little bit here with the Yules and the stun. Max Nova dead to right, says the Wraith King. Dismantles and mounts the two heads on his bedroom wall. Ace will take down a nice little lane of racks here for Secret to claim as they shift up towards top as well. Chrono ready from the Faceless Void, but they need maybe to be alive at this point. Tier 3 top will surely fall. Arme comes in, catches the Wraith King. The reincarnation is yeah, there. He just hits uh, everyone once, goes back. Just can't do anything. Oh, <laughs> GD, they're, they're just getting outdone here. Secret inside his base. The doppelganger over, dodges the burrow strike. Arme now oh, can't even time walk away. Dead for a minute and a half. Queen of Pain blinking, TPing. Where is she off to? I, I can't, can't keep up. Maybe. Okay, back in the fountain then. When it's time to call it, it's time to call it. I can't believe it might just be time to call it. There's the sonic wave, but secret five-man rotation into the fountain. On my way, says Fata, but that is surely game. GG is called, and Team Secret 2-0. Wipe LGD off the face of the freaking map. Uh, once again, uh, Team Secret with uh, unorthodox picks. Like, four melee heroes. Uh, the bottom lane was lost at the start, uh, but they managed to come back.